Welcome to an all new season of RuPaul's Drag Race. Well, then what show is it? Oh. Hello, and welcome back to another season of the Joystick Jockeys. We're glad to be back, and we hope you're excited that we're back as well. I am your host, the fantastic Mr. Fox. No relation. And I... <clears throat> and we all hope that you got the games and gadgets that you've been wanting for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate that time of year. And hopefully we'll be reviewing some of them and you can help spread the word whether they're good or not. And this year we have a whole lot of stuff planned for you. We got some big things coming up. But for now, we're sticking to our traditional reviews. And my first review of 2011 is going to be of the PS3 and Xbox 360 title, Enslaved Odyssey to the West. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Just like everyone else. No, you're not. If you die, I die. And I ain't gonna let that happen. Enslaved Odyssey to the West is an action platformer from Bandai Namco that follows the story of two escaped slaves, Monkey, the fearless acrobatic fighter, and Trip, the master of technology. Our story begins with Monkey and Trip unwillingly joining up to find Trip's hometown and to solve the mystery of Pyramid, a mysterious vessel bent on enslaving humanity. Trip attaches a mind-controlling headband onto Monkey, forcing him to help her. If she dies or he leaves her behind, he dies. The story is derived from an ancient Chinese myth called Journey to the West, which shares the same character names and a similar story, except set in a futuristic world. On their journey, Monkey and Trip must fight an army of mechanical warriors and traverse a crumbling world in order to find the truth. The gameplay mechanics follow similar trends of most action platformers such as God of War and Prince of Persia. This includes melee combo attacks, learning new skills, options to enhance different skills, and performing perilous platforming techniques. With that being said, the only real downfall of this game is that the combat can become a little repetitive, but it presents enough variety in scenarios to keep you going. The boss battles are also pretty impressive, especially in the finale. What makes this game stand out, however, is the combination of stellar voice acting, character presentation, and music. As the game progresses, your characters grow and learn to like each other, and so the gameplay will change. For example, as Monkey and Trip become closer, Monkey can go further away from Trip without her getting concerned. Other reviewers may disagree, but something about this game is just so charming that it kept me coming back for more. For all you trophy and achievement gurus, this game is not at all that difficult to obtain a 100% completion. And for those who like to explore and collect hidden items, this game is right up your alley. Overall, Enslaved is a great action platformer for the casual gamer, and despite very few camera issues and glitches, it's just a fun ride that any gamer can appreciate. So there you have it, my review for Enslaved Odyssey to the West. If you also like the game, give us a thumbs up on YouTube, like us on Facebook, all that good stuff. Our links to all our websites will be at the very end of this video, so be sure to check us out and tell your friends about us because we got some really cool stuff coming up this year, and I hope you stay tuned. See ya!